reconcile pretty easily. No parent should have to bury their also. child. Knowing it's me that put him there. Oh, they Guilt. actually buried him? Guilt what? will never go away. I feel your pain. What about Silas or what about Lucy? I gotta see I'll him. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Probably not, just because they made no cheesy and everyone in the eye. My work was what lured me here in the first place. This began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. I remember that painting. Things Charles should never have seen. Connect all the dots. Here's the plot quiz. I Give took care of you. Off. Saved you from Here your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Now I think that was a bit bad. Animation's always been pretty bad for this game, to be honest. You're not going. Up with that. There's no one talking about that. Still and we, I guess that was a different one. <laughs> Just shows you getting burned. Simon. Pulls it out in perfect color. Come on, it's over now. Yeah, so dumb. So maybe we'll regenerate. Okay, one more charge point. Spider, get in our way. <laughs> well, um, I missed a few. His sanity is still growing dangerously. He is sensitive to the to a cult opens new ways for him. On rare occasions he is now able to unearth hidden truths where when he speaks to the inhabited Ah, oh, so that's where he fucking he, he said the random like <laughs> the option of is not holy shit, my sanity is psychotic. There is a secret, a forgotten secret, so old and terrifying which is only divulged in the blasphemous pages of lost tomes, or whispered during forgotten and outlawed rituals. We are not children of providence. You know the cruel and awful truth, and you have seen the frightening face of reality. <laughs> Fuck, this is great. This is fucking... Guy's going absolutely fucking insane. I still have the poker. Do I have a choice? So I've got Sarah, Sarah. No, I've got this. 
this guy. How are you, Bradley? Whatever his name is. Ah, it's you, Pierce. I'm just worried about Marie. He wasn't yeah, even I mean, there Dr. at the asylum when I asked him to come. Have you had any news? I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? She was turned into I'm not a sure. She threw me a bit. But I found her body went in the back to dying. <laughs> you, you sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, I'd still be yeah, alive. So lying with I'm me. Sorry. He doesn't hate me. So now Truly. he's gonna hate me because he feels that like I'm a I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a fucking... <laughs> oh man, I don't want to do it. Oh, man, but I... <sighs> Let's read where the other ones are. Maria Colden could... Would not have wanted that. Fuller will pay the price. The nature of their relationship. It is not for us to decide. His grief clouds his judgement. I'd say his grief clouds his judgment. But <laughs> completely thing. Oh fuck this uh, uh, Um I know I maybe I'll flip a coin for it. Alright, um just fucking flip a coin. Alright, heads I do, Cthulhu, tails, grief of his judgment, alright, heads, Cthulhu, alright. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. <laughs> you just need to have a <laughs> This is what random are you talking fucking about? Cthulhu shit. What's this like, story of destiny? Yeah, like, what the fuck? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of it. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. <laughs> Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, yeah, that's the voice kinda. of reason, Pierce. As always. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, kind of right, in a way. <laughs> That's so weird, like, what? Is that supposed to be like something through is telling me to say or some shit? Maybe? Mr. Pierce, we were right, waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? What are those symbols on <laughs> Did you think body? I would let you confront the occult you without himself? supervision? This is too dangerous no, for I called you out. Like you. Algernon... I need Very to talk to Mr. Why Pierce. Why this house Very well, sir. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Enticing. Dangerous. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't so. come back to Boston with you. <laughs> that fucking face. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't come home. I'm gonna get a drink real quick.
Like, she looks like such a fucking sad lost puppy. There's a cult on Dark War. <laughs> yeah, no shit. He just fought like a fucking fish man. Going, it's because of the Wanderer. Who is the Wanderer? You should be more like, is it? Charles Hawking is dead. You and Drake are up to. Yep. I want to say both of them, but I know I only get the option to say one. So I'll say You've that. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can it end its slaughter. No. What? No, you will come with what? me to Boston. You, you think you can kill fucking no Cthulhu? This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would Fuck. risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what <laughs> I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Alright, yeah, that's what you mean. <laughs> there must be a way to fight it. Yeah, I won't I won't do that one. Fuck that. <laughs> that's that way so fucking good. I wonder if it's just like fuck you sort of thing. So we all die. You've recovered from yesterday's condition. That must mean you can fight it. We must find something that will stop you from relapsing. Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Algernon. Help him find what he seeks, and we may all survive this battle. Dream, all right. Sorry. I'll help you. <laughs> the fucking Kabooey shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Going on like a crazy playthrough, I feel like, would just be the fucking drive myself in fucking completely insane. Fuck. I just want to do that option every, all the fucking time now. So where is he? Is it my... Is it my... my, my oh, okay. Seeing you again. Ah. It's you. I'm here for her. Not you. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. Fuck, you guys How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins influence. from the influence of the forces that claim her? Fuck. By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could That's protect Sarah. Yeah. They're gonna argue. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. <laughs> yes. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? This will affect you every fucking time I do that. I see that my precious my book. Yeah, that's great. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. So, well, I, I mean, if you at the end, and regard, depending on my decisions, that changes what happens. That is why it's so highly that valued. Going? Yes. That's why the and even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage so of Miskatonic thing, University, like the work remains <laughs> very powerful. Fish guy. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. I so want to become a fish guy at the end. Oh, <laughs> okay. He must have plans to get rid of it. Oh, I see, yeah. Dimensional His creature, shambler. the Shambler. What is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Well, we Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it why back to where it came prey? from permanently. What's so interesting about us? As, as prey. The 
dagger with a strange sign. You who sold it to Francis Sanders. If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was Wouldn't primarily a collector of occult family. objects. How he liked rare you. items such as the dagger. <laughs> but I, I doubt he knew his purpose. Dead, yeah. It allowed me to like send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. It's like a more clarity. I got more clarity. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature. I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces. This might Much be more effective than your cobbles. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center. A star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Yeah, you've seen a fucking Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Probably gonna get it by the end of the Sketch of a boss. Alright. Oh, I can hold it up. Damn it. The entrance to the tunnel has been buried following the cave in. But at least I didn't dream it. Is that something you really want to. Mm. Well, that means that, they, yeah, I guess with everything else that's happened, you wouldn't want to think you're insane, so. Sarah Hawkins telling the truth. Huh. Interesting. Sketch must guide me to the artifacts considered by Charles Hawkins. Why have I already seen him? What kind of ritual was she preparing? We should have done this the first fucking time we got here. Like fucking ages. Was the later. painting of the Shambler displayed here? Uh, cold. Ah. That's, that seemed kind of stupid to do. <laughs> all, all things considered. Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? Yeah, that's a fucking good question. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Ah, uh, she probably did because she's got powers and all that. Probably, you know, fucking... Did Charles Hawkins break the lock yeah, to he enter? Walked into that circle, actually. And again, he hit the house. It hasn't damaged anything in this room. If 
the amulet can protect Sarah Hawkins from the influence of the mythos, I must find it. So I'm pretty sure that thing's where I fucking wake up all the time. Oh boy, everything's fucking super dark here. Boy, oh boy. Boy. here before I only searched for one thing and then fucking a cunt tried to jump me steal my rubies Let's open up Cthulhu now, eh? Yeah. Be a real good move to freak Cthulhu. Got rid of the fuck yeah. We have. Did someone give me the magical lamps? The green one. I wanna get the green and the fucking infinite pink one. Ah, uh, it's you again. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. How? I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. How are we saved? Buddy? Yes, do that. He doesn't. He doesn't care, does he? He just wants to freak a Thulu, I think. Yeah, I spend all that child porn. Remember kids, if you give away your child porn, you, you get you get more power and skill. You get more endowed. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. Maybe they call it so terrible that you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much. Yeah, right I can't yeah. tell you now. This story Maybe is going to end badly. Like straight underneath this island. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will be with them. You sure? All right. So how are we going to get to Relia? Yeah. Because that's like thousands of feet under the water. Now in the book it was kind of awkward how you got there. You just... Well, not you, but you know, the... the I I've been hearing about you a lot there. <laughs> You seem to enjoy causing trouble. It's job, Chief. You got me. Seems out of sight. Great. Sleep. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. 
doing your job for you or your police officers doing. Yeah, they are kind of cold. They just want to fuck me. That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them, Save them for, the for the judge. judge. Who will probably be a part of the cult. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. Yeah, you just get rid of facts. I should have just had him say on a just transition from his face. But hey. It kind of sounded weirdly out of volume two. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite.